drive and discipline that you can think of right now? Um, look, uh, I, I think that there are always going to be people who really work very, very hard. I don't like to... Madonna is hard to compare to anybody else. But, um, you know, I, I think that... Um, I, I, I don't see that much of a difference in... I mean, people that really want to make it still want to make it. Don't you think so? I don't think it's a... I, I think that's a little BS. Yeah, no, I, I couldn't compare anybody to her, but we're touring Florence and the Machine in January. We've sold 150,000 tickets. Florence works really hard at what she does, and the other act that's impressed me and over the years, and he's now hasn't had a hit for a few years, but he's still pulling massive crowds, except in America, where he lives under the ground, called, a guy called Robbie Williams. He's the same. His work attitude is amazing. But that said, I know a lot of young bands whose work attitude's the same. If you're going to make it, you've really got to work at it, and you've got to believe in yourself, and uh, you know, you've got to take the knocks with the winds and just keep doing it. You spoke a little bit earlier about the different ways in which people can record their own music. They don't, let's say they're not signed or they don't have a studio with which to work. Do you recommend going out there and recording your own album, doing it yourself, raising funds independently, and then from there kind of trying to push your music? Or is it really best to kind of find somebody with which to work? Whatever works best. Whatever works best. Yeah, cool. Yeah, whatever works best, I think. You know, if you find a major player and an international major label who isn't going to get the sack because he's an A&R &R guy in nine months' time and leave you. But if you are connected with a heavyweight and a major, well, you'd go that way. Uh, the way I go with my acts is, you know, break them in Australia on as independents and then do a distribution deal for the rest of the world so that we maintain control. But if... If today's Armored Erdigan, Erdigan walked up to me and said, I want to sign that band to my label tomorrow, well, I would. Okay. Why don't we open it up to some questions in the audience? If people have questions, I'd like to ask Seymour and Michael. Yes. Uh, oh, you know what? Maybe... Um, um, more, more of a broad question. Take this one. Oh, what do you got? Here you go. right, got an more of a broad question, but, but can you maybe describe some of the uh, experiences in recording uh, at the studio and how it's different from today's age because uh, I, I assume you all worked on analog gear you know tapes uh, what you know if you can elaborate a bit about the discipline